Hi everyone, um, I just thought of making a quick video about uh, this card and my, I'm just about to install into my Amiga 3000. Uh, well this is the uh, Commodore A3640 CPU card. Notoriously slow and uh, bad design I guess, but I guess it would give me a little speed boost on the standard A3000. Uh, as you can see it's the revision 3.1 so it should be okay for the A3000 but well I'm a bit suspicious as looking at the for example this chip U209 it says that it's version 0.1 which usually refers to board revision 3.0 and that should not work on Omega 3000 it can be upgraded and uh, also the capacitors here they're original to me they don't seem to have uh, leaked yet but I will have to get them replaced um, but yeah my uh, my A3000 is here ready and waiting I have removed all the cards uh, and uh, what I still have to do is just set the onboard jumpers right for the external uh, CPU card and well as you can see it's working and running so uh, well I guess I'll just get into it and put the card in and, and before that set the jumpers right so let's see what happens Alright, so now I have the CPU card installed, it should be there very firmly. And uh, all I did was change the jumpers, and uh, now I have the power supply connected, and uh, no, no hard drive, only floppy, and no uh, Zorro cards. This machine has Kickstart 3.1 and a Buster Jeb 11. So they should be fine for the card. Um, one thing I noticed is the heat heat sink, which is a bit too high. I will have to get that replaced. But yeah, uh, let's see. It's the moment of truth and see if it actually works. So far, just silence well yeah well right now this is well this is something that I kind of expected that um, it's probably a rev revision of the board well I don't know well what do you know it's a picture actually well oh, cool Okay, it's not bad. Well, I'll, I'm gonna give it some tests. So far it seems to be... Well, the kickstart screen seems to work, so... Uh, well, I'll put in, put in all the other peripherals and see what happens with that. So, uh, now I've tried the computer with the SCSI drive. I have the SCSI to SD here, and as you could see just a few seconds ago there was a blink of a lead so it's not totally dead but as expected this card with an old revision has the problems with the SCSI interface so I guess I will have to get it get it uh, updated and recapped and um, well probably when I get it back I could do another video and uh, 
see what it looks like then but so far revision 3.1 very early one does not seem to work at least on this computer